Okay, good evening, everybody, and welcome to our presentation. Our talk is about um, today is about open book uh, based assessment during COVID 19 opportunity challenges and opportunities from students and teacher perspective at University of Technology and Applied Sciences in the Sultanate of Oman and basically at Rostock College of Education. Uh, I'm Dr. Moza El Malki and uh, my colleagues who will be Dr. Nagam, Dr. Sharifa and Mr. Khaled. So we're going to talk about we're going to talk about the research rationale, research questions, theoretical background, research design findings, and finally drawing conclusion and recommendation. Okay, when it comes to the research rationale, um, with regard to the COVID-19, which has provided a catalyst for change in the educational, pedagogical, and assessment practices, and um, due to this, the, 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 the mode of teaching and learning has been shifted toward online. Thus, the assessment practices need to be aligned with this new mode of um, a new mode of teaching and learning. Thus, this study investigates the challenges and the opportunities of the use of open book exams from students and teacher perceptions at um, our institutions. And we're going to refer to um, open book exams as OBs. So the study is guided by three main questions, which are what is the participants definition of OBs? What are the benefits and challenges of OBs from students and teachers perspectives? And finally, how can OBs be deployed more effectively in the future? Based on the literature, so firstly, we're going to define OPs and based on based on the literature, OPs is a testing method by which students are permitted to refer to their course materials and notes when answering exam questions. Um, thus, um, different from the different from the closed uh, closed book exam, this sort of exams actually emphasizes higher thinking skills, such as evaluation, problem solving, knowledge implementation, rather than memorization. And this premise actually was advocated and called for by the constructivism. When it comes to the opportunities and the advantages of uh, OPs, there are a number of advantages that are, have been revealed or shown to, um, from the literature. Some of these, uh, for example, uh, within the integration of te technology into assessment, the biggest advantage of online assessment is the greater degree of flexibility in its organizations and delivery. So when it comes to the organizing them, the, 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 the OPs and the delivery of it, it's more, it's more flexible. Another advantage of OPs is that it can stimulate students' deep learning and higher cognitive skills. Um, as well as, um, um, as well as to them, uh, or in addition or, or, or to, to, to um, uh, uh, stimulating students' uh, deep learning and higher cognitive skills, this actually, this, um, this value enable students to, um, um, for real life situation because OBs can be more representative of real life situation or professional setting for students upon graduation. On the other hand, there are a number of challenges have been revealed from the literature with regard to the, um, to the OPs. One of the challenges is that it, um, it's a chance or the students might consider OPs is a, a chance to relax and, and ignore the need for preparing for exam. Another challenge is that um, it's time consuming and therefore it needs careful because it needs careful concentrations to the to designing the question that tackle the higher thinking skills. In addition to that, grading students on such a significant amount of time, and this might affect the reliability of the teacher's grading system and scores. And um, the final uh, point with regard to the challenges is that the connectivity to the internet and academic integrity and um, it might be really um, an issue until clear assessment procedures and criteria are established in the in the in the institutions or in the assessment practice. Okay, so I'm going to leave now the floor for Dr. Naam to talk about the research design. Thank you very much, Dr. Uh, good evening, everybody. I'm going to talk to, uh, to you about our research design. You can see that we have two kind of uh, linear design which starts with research objectives, then the research approach, research methods, data methods, and data collection. Dr. Moza, please, would you move the slide? 
Yeah. So our research objectives were about identifying the perspectives of students and teacher alike using open book exams. Uh, of course, uh, another objective was the benefits. We wanted to identify and pinpoint the benefits gained and the challenges encountered by teachers while deploying OBEs and students while taking OBEs. The final objective was to improve the current OBEs practice, and that will be, of course, uh, uh, driven from the implications uh, in the findings. Yes, Dr. Moser? Our research approach uh, is, of course, a kind of exploratory research paper, which sets out to explore the main aspects of OBE. Uh, uh, as a team of researchers, we think that this area is kind of under research. Uh, we would uh, set off to fulfill the research, our, our curiosity as a team. Uh, we think that this area needs a greater understanding, further understanding. We'd like to test the feasibility of uh, starting a more in-depth study, and we would uh, opt to develop the methods to be used in any following research projects about OBEs. Um, with regard to data collection and analysis, the data in this study were collected via three interviews on the one hand, and uh, two surveys that were conducted to measure students and faculty satisfaction with OBEs. Uh, thus, the research employs a mixed method approach involving a quantitative research method focusing on numbers and descriptive statistics via JASP embedded by the two surveys which are used to collect uh, primary data, followed by a qualitative research method focusing on interpretation of, sorry, uh, followed by a qualitative research method focusing on interpretation of survey results as well as extracting implications, thematic analysis. I leave the floor to my colleague, Dr. Sharif Al Adawi. Thank you, Dr. Naran. Thank you very much. So, taking it from there, we have focused on this presentation is uh, our focus is on the thematic analysis of the open ended questions and of the pilot like uh, um, interviews, the three pilot interviews. And we are going to focus on the present uh, participants definition and the benefits and challenges of OBs from students and teachers uh, perspectives. So, looking at the participants' definition of OBEs, looking at the teachers in particular, they refer to OBEs as those which enable students or allow students to refer to the books. But it's not merely like disposition of book content. The students need to apply the knowledge they have gained throughout the semester in producing a new knowledge or like using that knowledge in new situations. And the other one is that it doesn't need any invigil uh, invigilation on that sense, and the students can use whatever resources, defining like the extreme case of open book exams where the students can like um, check any book, any website, whatever is available for them. And it is practical in nature. But one interesting finding from the teachers is that one of the teachers said it is just for PhD candidates, saying that it needs research skill and higher thinking level of skills, which is uh, somehow like an implication that students at a bachelor degree cannot do it. As for the students, students actually provided good definitions that the they need to check other resources. They can open their book. They can extract information, highlighting the higher thinking skills, saying that it activates the mind and skills. And also the students' comprehension instead of just memorization and also doing the task, which is important and key word in here. And some students said actually that this questions provided for them can change from one person to the other as, as the teachers provide like set of questions so that it limits plagiarism in that sense. And one interesting finding from one of the students saying it's free marks, uh, which indicates misunderstanding actually of what open book exams are. 
As for the teacher's views of OB's benefits, we have categorized them into students' learning gains, designing exam knowledge and skills, and quality of the assessment. And then there are themes related to online mode of OBs. So as for students learning gains, gains uh, students research and resourcing skills can improve, self-confidence and autonomy, critical thinking skills, and they can gain also a thorough understanding of the course. As for the designing assessment, uh, the teachers felt that it is more practical and critical questions are more important for the students and also it broadens the teacher like understanding and skill of designing exams. And it also enables them to have or to like manipulate the classroom so that the students can be more independent and responsible for their own learning, which is like key for graduates and also accurate measure of students knowledge and skills. That is what is provided by OBEs and we want to step out from memorization. So it's kind of practice for the teacher also in designing exams and also it's good for their students and it can discriminate who are the students who can be called like lower achievers and higher achievers. As for the online mode of assessment, they said that they can use the auto grade function, which is somehow misunderstanding of open book exams as they are not multiple choice questions. But they said they can also save on logistics like uh, providing the classrooms, the time, the invigilators, and they can provide random set of questions. Uh, some teachers indicated that in online learning, this is not possible. We don't want to use open book exams as they are kind of not beneficial, which is kind of also a disadvantage or challenge in here as students become more kind of um, or cheaters. Sorry for the word. As for the students' views, they were also categorized in the same uh, sense, skill base, nature on, and level of the questions, which is related to the assessment design and practicality and access. So in terms of skill base, they said it improves their cognitive and metacognitive skills, their effective skills, uh, develop their study skills and research skills. And in terms of the nature and level of questions, they said these questions promote their deep and, uh, learning they are more practical and they are easier in the sense they have the resources and also they are fair because it says who are the students who have or can do the work. As in terms of practicality, they said the resources can be available and less time for preparation, which is an important thing for them. And they said it aligns with online teaching. Moving now to the challenges. All right, so for the challenges, the teachers indicated that it is a failure in online teaching and assessment and also the availability and scope of resources can be misleading for the students, whether to give them like four to five resources or open it up for them and the quality of the resources. As for the time, it can be really time consuming for the teachers to design the exams and to grade them and for the students to do the task itself grading is uh, definitely an easy as for the challenges faced by the students students attitudes to not taking it seriously uh, is one challenge so they feel that they don't have to prepare for the exam it's easy and they can do it preparation for the assessment uh, they don't know whether to prepare or not clarity and nature of the level and difficulty of the question some said that it is not representative of the course materials and objectives. Again, it might be misunderstanding of OBs. And in terms of time management and how they do the task or how long they can do it, uh, yes, it, it is specified for them. But again, some of them like leave it till the end when they have just one week or two days to do the task. And not knowing what is the correct answer, although there is no right definite correct answer as in objective questions, internet connectivity and access to resources can be really like a challenge for some students. Moving on, Mr. Khalid. Okay, so this was our project about uh, open book exams, uh, their use um, in the classroom and um, we collected data through surveys and uh, interviews and you've just heard the findings about it. Uh, what is noticeable 
is that uh, the English department like has been using uh, open, book, uh, open book exams while the other department haven't really. And uh, the implication taken from there is that raising awareness training uh, needs to be like really thought about. We need to take steps, um, make students practice mock exams before the students have the exams. Um, and then uh, like training teachers also in designing exams. Uh, they need training, definitely. Uh, it's not like designing closed uh, ended exams. All right, and for the gradual implementation, we need to really be consistent, like impl uh, implementing open book exams within the teaching, like not separating it as assessment. Objectives needs to be there. They need to align with the objectives of the course. And of course, we think about the formative and summative for the open book exams as they improve the students' skills. And also, we can grade students based on open book exams because it gives like a clear and accurate image of the student's performance. Okay, um, and for the infra infrastructure and resources, it needs to be really taken into account without internet and especially on online learning or with uh, unstable internet connection, it can be a challenge for the students and a time needs to be taken into account as well. How long would the students do it? How would the teacher like uh, check on students' progress in open book exams? Uh, for the limited study, this was on the campus of a large university, so probably we would need like to check the other campuses. As for the methods of data collection, we are for, uh, thinking of follow up interviews because there were some kind of interesting data coming from the students as well as uh, the teachers. Thank you.